Math 083 Final Exam Review Problem 12 Parts A, B, C, and D. Let's start with Part A. We have 16 raised to the 3 halves power. The way I describe this, I look at the rational exponent, the fractional exponent, and the denominator of the fractional exponent I call the root. In this case, the second root, or the square root. The numerator of the fractional exponent I call the power. In this case, the third power. Therefore, beginning with the root, I take the square root of 16. That gives me 4. I then raise that to the third power, and 4 times 4 times 4 gives me an answer of 64. Let's look at part B. Here the root is the cube root. The power is 1. Anything to the 1 power or first power is itself, so we have simply 4ab under the cube root radical. Now since this exponent here is 1, and that's less than 3, and this exponent here is 1, and that's less than 3, and since the number 4 has no perfect cube factors, other than 1, we don't bother with that. Perfect cubes are 8, that doesn't go into 4. 27, these are all too big. Therefore, cube root of 4ab is the simplified answer. Let's look at part c. 32 raised to the negative 3 fifths power. A negative exponent means reciprocal. So we have 1 divided by 32 raised to the positive 3 fifths power. Changing the sign of the exponent is manifested by forming a reciprocal. Now let's look at the fractional exponent. Again, its denominator is the root number, so we have the fifth root of 32 taking place in the denominator raised to the third power. So we have 1 divided by the fifth root of 32 raised to the third power. What is the fifth root of 32? 2, because 2 multiplied together with itself 5 times gives you 32. So we have 1 divided by 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Our answer is 1 eighth. In part D, we have 7x to the 5th raised to the 1 half power. This is 7 to the 1 half power times x to the 5th to the 1 half power. 7 to the 1 half power means square root of 7. x to the 5th to the 1 half is carried out by multiplying these exponents. Let's do that on the side. 5 times 1 half is the same as 5 divided by 1 times 1 half. You get 5 halves. Now the way I show my class to do this is I convert 5 halves into a mixed fraction. 2 and 1 half. So we have x raised to the 2 and 1 half power. Laws of exponents can be used to show that x to the 2 and 1 half power means x to the second power times x to the 1 half power. And just as 7 to the 1 half power is square root of 7, x to the 1 half power is square root of x. So we have square root of 7 times x squared times square root of x. This gives us x squared times square root of 7x.